Jason Isaac is the director of Life Powered, a national initiative of the Texas Public Policy Foundation to raise America's energy IQ. Jason has appeared live on Fox Business Network, other national news shows, and his commentaries are regularly published. Uh, Fox Business, The Hill, Washington Examiner, The Daily Caller, and especially as a contributor to the Epoch Times. Prior to joining Life Powered, Jason, who's a fourth generation native Texan, was elected four times as the state representative for Hayes and Blanco counties in Texas Hill Country. He served on the Energy Resources and Environmental Regulation Committees, among others. And I'm pleased to have him join us in the Economic War Room. Welcome, Jason. It's great to be on, Kevin. Thanks for having me. You know, we've seen each other at conferences. I always love hearing you speak. I've seen your video, which we'll share with, with all our viewers later. But you're kind of a celebrity among those who monitor America's energy security. <laughs> well, I appreciate that compliment very much. I love getting up to go to work every single day to work to end poverty around the world. And energy is the key to doing just that. Uh, there's hundreds of millions of people that are nearing starvation because of some economic policies that have been put in place over the last few years. Uh, we need to reverse that trend. We need to be producing more energy here in the United States and exporting that energy, that freedom, that clean air, and that economic prosperity around the world. Yeah, and you know, you make a really good point. The American energy producer is actually a hero. And I had the chance to speak to the Oil and Gas Accountants Association. I can't remember the exact title. And I said, you're heroes because you make it possible for us to produce energy without all the corruption that they have in other nations. America is truly an energy leader in that respect. Yeah, and, and many thanks to our private property rights that we have here in this country that provide an economic incentive to produce those minerals, to produce that energy. And you're right, people that work in the oil and gas industry, that work in producing coal, that work in producing nuclear energy, they're really the ones that are going to work like I am every day to end poverty. And when you let them know that that connection to access to energy is what would alleviate poverty around the world, that's something that really empowers people. And I've spoken to crowds around the country and you tell that to them and you can see their chest stick up a little bit, their shoulders raise up. They feel confident and happy and prideful about the work that they're doing, not only for our energy security, but really that effort to help people around the world. Absolutely. Well, now tell us the title, Life Powered. I mean, that's a powerful title. Explain it, it. it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ener energy powers life, and a life powered by affordable, reliable energy is really a life worth living. Uh, and, and again, I, I mentioned people around the world that suffer from energy poverty, which is the same as poverty. It's about a billion people on the face of the earth that have no access to electricity or energy at all. Now, you've got almost half the global population that just has intermittent access to electricity, something that we take really for granted here in the developing country. Uh, the power for me just went out this morning. I heard my neighbor's generator kick on, uh, something I don't have the luxury of having, uh, but it is something that we take for granted here in this country and, and don't recognize that there's three and a half billion people on the face of the earth that only have intermittent electricity, enough to power a refrigerator that we take for granted here in the US. That's all the electricity they have access to on a year. 